All right. Uh, so, uh, early metastatic lesions of liver. Uh, the term itself was invented in uh, 1995, and it's quite obvious that the surgery of metastatic um, uh, cancer existed long before that. And so, I came across a paper of 1939, uh, um, adenocarcinoma of the kidney with metastasis to the lung cured by nephrectomy and lobectomy. And um, uh, uh, so metastasis in liver. Here in this table, you can find uh, quite a large sets of resections of the liver metastasis. Look at the years. Look at the third column, fourth year, uh, the survival, five years survival. We can see how this has been changing uh, for these patients from year to year. This is connected with uh, a lot of factors. Chemotherapy, of course, from Lake Averine to uh, oxaliplatin and the uh, target um, drugs and uh, uh, of course the uh, well diagnostics plays its role we started with uh, intra intra uh, um, operational revision um, and then there was compared uh, CT uh, MRI um, with, with uh, different specific um, Preparations and all this makes uh, di diagnostics more precise and uh, makes it possible to define us uh, better what kind of surgery is needed. And the final line here, that is the data from the International Register. A lot of patients, almost 25,000, the final uh, I guess um, uh, that's 42, a uh, bit for survival. That's a bit worse than the best. Um, a data, but we should consider, of course, the fact that this is the data for 10 years, and this is what we would like to have about 60% of five year survival, uh, about 25% 10 year long survival. Now, now uh, 1995, and Hellman and uh, Weichelbaum from Chicago. Uh, brought together the hypothesis of the spread of uh, a cancer, the primary uh, cancer, and the hypothesis of gradual dissemination, invented the new status, uh, oligometastasis. Uh, no, I'm uh, presenting here translation of the original text. Metastasing, we believe, has an intermediary stage. Uh, the, the spread is limited to certain um, organs, and the metastasis can be presented um, in a limited number. So the practical purpose of this hypothesis is that local methods of treatment can be effective with patients with illegal metastasis. So what... What are they? What are the oligometastases? What do we think of them? So the definition suggested by the authors is quite uh, uh, vague. Uh, we don't think there is any clear-cut definition. Many um, uh, researchers um, provided different. Uh, some believed that five metastases, that's oligometastases. Some incorrectly just three. The factors of development of oligometastases and the biomarkers were not defined, although the work in this field is being done, and there are uh, certain achievements. And we hope that in the near future, we uh, get information on uh, how the uh, uh, metastases might develop in liver. Among the surgeons, um, uh, this term, oligometastasis, is not that popular. Uh, if you uh, look for this particular term um, in the dictionaries, you will find that there is quite a lot of articles on radiotherapy from radiotherapists and not that many from surgeons. In our practice, we use resectable metastasis. That is the term we apply most often. In English literature, very often we come across liver uh, liver only metastasis that actually means uh, that there are isolated lesions of liver. So, in spite of this criticism, the concept of oligometastasis is accepted in the colorectal cancer treatment, and practice shows that uh, some of the patients uh, can have this oligometastatic uh, status. Unfortunately, 
Uh, this is retrospective in great. So we um, operate on the surgery, we remove the tumor, remove the, um, uh, resect the metastasis, and five years later we discover that there is no progression. And we can say this this, this patient must uh, uh, had had the true oligo oligostatic. Uh, status. But sometimes the situation is exactly reverse. Here are some illustrations and we can see here a very large metastasis in the right part of the lobe of the church and uh, hemi uh, gepatectomy was carried out on him. The next picture, um, uh, three metastases in liver, oligometastatic, obviously, and no more than three as we said. But um, well, then um, with the systemic chemotherapy, there appeared numerous uh, uh, metastases and the diagnosis of oligostatic um, uh, met uh, metastasis was uh, uh, lifted. So here is data uh, from the international uh, document on the treatment. Uh, so uh, the fourth stage of uh, colorectal uh, cancer um, is common for 20 25% of patients. Uh, 15 20 would have metastasis in liver without treatment, with just sy symptomatic treatment. One year survival is less than 30%. Five year survival less than 5%. With simultaneous uh, metastasis is 3.3, with metachronic 6.1%. So, which makes it possible to conclude that uh, um, the um, simultaneous metastasis emergence is a factor of negative prognosis and uh, a factor of uh, the worst um, um, prognosis is that um, synchronicity. And uh, uh, the these um, metastases are the metastases which uh, appear either prior uh, to the diagnosis set or uh, during that period, uh, metachronic, uh, um, uh, from 1 to 12 months after the tumor was found, and uh, the later metachronic metastases the month that appear 12 months later and plus. So what? Um, how can we control the metastases in liver uh, at a local level? without surgery ablation methods, uh, uh, that's uh, radiation or microwave ablation. Uh, then uh, 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 very popular stereotaxic uh, X-ray uh, local regional methods, um, um, and arterial uh, therapy, intra-arterial uh, therapy, and everything that uh, can be um, uh, infused into the artery, liver artery is uh, to be used. Combination of methods and uh, liver transplant, which used to be um, counterindicated during the metastatic cancer, but within this uh, new, uh, the set of new discoveries, uh, the results uh, were quite positive. And one of the best known studies is Norwegian specialists from Oslo have demonstrated that if uh, there are non resectable metastases in liver, then the transplant of uh, liver can provide a five year survival um, up to f in up to 60 percent of patients. Hubers to illustrate non surgical methods, non resectable methods of treatment. This uh, it, it's chemotherapy. Chemotherapy we can't do without this, plus uh, radiofrequency ablation. The full regress is uh, the absence of metastasis. This slide is from uh, Dr. Kozlov, center named after Graunov. We can see large metastasis in the right lobe of the liver. Then chemoembolization of the hepatic artery and uh, the metastasis will shrink. And then I think the patient was operated on. And now, unfortunately, currently we don't have uh, quite many options. This Kaplan Meyer graph, red line patients who had liver resection performed. 25,000, 42% five years survival, and 25% 10 years survival. As to patients who are not 
who hadn't had the living disease rejected uh, green line. 9% of 5 years survival rate and no 10 uh, years survival. And some things, uh, surgical things, maybe for clinical oncologists, uh, it, it may be useful to know. It may be one phase resection of the primary tumor and liver metastasis, but uh, according to the international consensus, it's not recommended to perform extensive liver resections together with the primary uh, tumor removal. Or uh, the uh, resection should, shouldn't be more than three segments, otherwise we will face a great number of complications. We did perform hemihepatectomy with the removal of the primary tumor. It's an extensive hepatic extraction, but it won't, uh, it didn't lead to the increase in complications. Then double phase resection interval two or three months. During this two or three months, there may be uh, either radiotherapy or chemotherapy, especially in case of the rectus cancer. There may be two approaches. Standard approach, when firstly the primary tumor is removed and then metastasis are removed, or reverse approach. Uh, it's known as a liver first approach sometimes. First, the liver metastasis are removed and then the primary tumor. And it's true for the rectum cancer when we had to uh, conduct, to expose the patient to radiotherapy before primary tumor removal. And uh, after six months of chemotherapy, when the risk is uh, um, complications is increasing. It's necessary to point out that the primary chemotherapy should last not more than two months. The longer chemotherapy, the higher the risk of post-operative complications. After six months of chemotherapy, especially oxaliplatin and irinotecan, uh, the risk of uh, complications is increasing greatly because the liver has a different property comparing to a healthy person or a person uh, after the limited sex of chemotherapy. There are different data, recent data, standard approach or liver first approach. Uh, no, great number of patients, 653, uh, 587 standard approach and liver first approach, 66 patients. Although uh, 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 without statistical difference, the, uh, the both strategies demonstrated the similar oncological outcomes. Classical. Uh, the large uh, metastasis in the left uh, lobe of the liver, chemotherapy plus uh, a left-sided hemihepatectomy, uh, poor, factor, poor prognostic factors, uh, the margin of the resection. It's a recent work, scientific work, uh, uh, by public. Five years survival rate 58 percent, but patients with a positive resection margin only 70 percent, negative resection, resection margin 63 percent, more than three metastases uh, uh, by global um, involvement of the liver, and plus the high level of CEA. Uh, the young age of a patient, uh, brief interval because, uh, between the primary tumor removal and metastasis. Uh, the earlier metastasis uh, appear, the poor the results, and poor response uh, uh, for, uh, to chemotherapy. Uh, I would like to show you uh, the scale, impressive scale, Japanese. Three stages of liver metastasis, A, B, C, vertically N stages of the patients, EM1, it's uh, the presence of the extra hepatic metastasis, horizontally combine uh, values, the size of the lesion in the liver and the number of lesions. Uh, 
uh, HT1, HT3, five lesions, uh, size more than five centimeters, and between them, HT2. And when uh, and then we see the stage B, A, B is C, and the authors of this scale showed that in case of stage A, 50% five years survival, B, 31, and in stage C, not more than nine. In conclusion, traditionally, brief data, our data, we are not a specialized uh, clinic uh, for Hepatic patients during five years, they performed 125 liver operations, 25 operations per year. Thank you for your attention.